I'm delighted to be joined by Mr. Paul Collins from Rare. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Great shirt. You guys Cheers. should sell those. Yeah. People have picked them up all we over the place. We had a few more uh, shirts to give out in the, the swag. It's been swag mania yeah, over we should, in the pre-boot. Yeah, we them out yeah. via the internet to everyone out there. Uh, yeah. Great to see you guys yeah. back in form. Um, yeah, it's been great. Yeah, yeah, it's been an awesome E3 for us. The one-two punch of celebrating the old and also uh, lighting up the stages with uh, Sea yeah. of Thieves. For sure. So later this year, we're going to get 30 rare games yep. for $30. <laughs> yeah. August 4th, we're going to have 30 rare games uh, spanning six console generations. There's games like Jetpack, um, an amazing offering in terms of things like Jet Force Gemini, mm. Blast Core, the original Conquer for the, N uh, the N64. We've also got KI Gold in there too, all the way up to the Xbox 360 titles like Cameo, Nuts and Bolts. It's an amazing collection. It's oh absolutely jammed packed with extra content. Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. We were talking about it yeah. beforehand. <laughs> Perhaps the best Banjo-Kazooie game. <laughs> I absolutely love it, uh, uh, but I got some friends who uh, love the old ones as well. So, yeah. do you have all the banjo They're games? In there. So we've got the uh, the Xbox Live remakes of Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie, and also Perfect Dark in there. Cool. It's been awesome having the the back compat. So we've been able to have um, the nine Xbox 360 titles in the collection. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, a bit of Battletoads yeah. in yeah. there as well. Got RC Pro Am, an amazing set of games there from the older generation. It's funny, like when you first, um, we've been having a lot of people coming up to play them, and as they go through the game list, yeah. and they see all the games in there, they're like a stand. They're like, I didn't realize you guys made Slalom, Cobra Triangle, <laughs> yeah. and, Battle and Battletoads, of course, has been awesome too. And uh, Grab by the Goonies, Grab by the Goonies amazing yeah. too for the, uh, the Xbox One. Yeah, you in forget. terms of, uh, of course, you've got the infamous Battletoads in there too. And mm. um, we've got a great offering in terms of the, the NES version of Battletoads. Mm. We also have the arcade version, which for, for some people, they might not have got the first, the, the, the chance to play it the first yeah. time round. So you can also play it free player, which is a, a very cool uh, a brawler. Uh, it's interesting that you, you put 30 games on a disc and then the first thing people say yeah. is, where are all the other ones that aren't here? <laughs> so like games that aren't there, GoldenEye for instance. Yeah. You guys, do you guys even own the rights to that? So, Is that so for Rare Replay, it's always been about celebrating the games that are unique to Rare. Games that, um, that are Rare worlds, Rare characters. Mm. Um, a gameplay that only Rare can do. And so when we kind of put the collection together, we wanted to whittle it down to the games that really best mm. spoke to the, the stuff that we've created. And so it, Th this collection is just full of games that only Rare could make. And one of the awesome things, too, is over the 30 years, it's not just uh, been uh, 30 years of first-person shooters. Mm. We've gone the whole spectrum of different types of games and experiences. We've got platformers, yeah. puzzles, and sometimes we just break boundaries with like things like Viva Piñata, where we mm. just go for a life sim. It's, it's just is a fantastic Viva collection. Piñata on it as well? Viva Piñata and Trouble in Trouble Paradise, Paradise is in there, Paradise too. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so I can completely struggle to get uh, candy animals to have sex all over <laughs> again. It. Hunting that dragon ash as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's it like uh, for you guys working? You've been there for six years six now, years, right? Six years, yes. Like yeah. in the six years you've been there, Rare has kind of been the Connect studio. So it's a bit of a big turn for you guys to, to like kind of well, like dive way back into your into your yeah. history. Well, the, the really cool thing is that for us, um, and as a studio, like, like I mentioned, we never wanted to stick to just one type of genre. So Connect Sports was showing again how we can do sports games, like um, back when we were made games mm. for um, Nintendo, like. Um, uh, uh, John Elway, uh, Madden. So it's we're, we're not shy of any type of genre. And mm. one of the things I love about working at Rare is that the next project could be something completely different. You never know what the next turn is, and that's one of the things that really excites me at, at the studio. Mm. So what is the next turn for you guys? It's like <laughs> you know, you bring in 30 games. This is obviously something you guys have been working on for a while, trying to get them all working. Um, what are we going to see from you guys? Is 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 Connect gone from from Rare now? So for us, we're really focused on Rare replay and making that as almost awesome as possible. <laughs> we've, had, we've had so many people playing that, and of course, we've got Sea of Thieves. So there's two awesome projects on the go here, which we're really excited about, yeah. and we think that are really something there for the fans. Uh, what was the reception like uh, at Rare when Ukulele was announced? It was awesome. Like th those guys that are working on that, I, I really fond memories of working with mm. them. I got the chance to work with Chris Sov, uh, Gavin on on uh, Connect Sports. So. For all of us, we're just so happy for them and we can't wait to play it. It's also interesting as well that there's 30 games coming out on this. Like, you know, if you, the average price for an HD remake of something is, you know, in the range of five to ten dollars. Yeah. Why are you only selling it for 30? Like, it seems like the type of thing you could probably get away with yeah. selling for I 50 mean, quid or 60. For us, we've always felt like, well, from, from my perspective, I'd always loved it to be a no brainer purchase. We didn't want to get that price point that made it feel like, a, should I buy this? Shouldn't I buy this? We want as many people as possible to pick it up at day mm. one and even pre order it for us. And so on August 4th, you get these 30 games. And, and the, the time that it comes out, August 4th, 
it's a kind of that kind of sometimes a bit of a lull period where there's not that many games coming out and with the amount of content inside mm. of the collection it just feels like a great time to really get your hands back into some of the games from rare that you may have missed uh, alongside the 30 games too and just as mentioned there's just so much content in there we've also got what we're calling our snapshot challenges okay and these are bite-sized mini games that showcase some of the uh, the older classics in the collection and they're just a nice segue back into the games mm. we've got our own little spin on them whether it's like uh, Battletoads Turbo Tunnel Infinite where we basically just make it keep going round and round and see how long you can survive in Battletoads yeah. for that's been an absolute gem on the um, at the show floor for us um, the engineer that was working on it he got seven minutes he was managed to stay in Turbo <laughs> Tunnel for seven minutes someone's come over and like over the course of the week he's managed to survive in it for 30 minutes so far <laughs> so it's been absolutely <laughs> crazy these are they also have leaderboards attached to them as well so you can keep on like trying your scores against your yeah. friends and the community as well and to also incentivize players to check out the whole collection we've also added um, exclusive videos that are only especially for Rare Replay. Oh, so and is that like trailers and stuff or uh, behind no, the scenes? Uh, or? Behind the scenes, yes. So we've made documentaries um, over the course of the project. We've made documentaries on the making of Banjo, uh, Conquer, um, how Dream became Banjo. We've got uh, a KI one in there, a bit of Battletoads, of course. We've also got some um, showcases around some of the games that were never released too. Um, something called Sundown, which was a survival mm. horror game we worked on. So it's just absolutely jam-packed. It, it's so much than uh, just 30 games. But like I'm sure you guys enjoyed working on the on, on Connect Sports Rivals and then and the games that you were making. But surely like the vibe at Rare must be like you guys must be so much happier now that you're like diving back into like this sort of massive uh, well of, of design that you have well, there. Um, we're always really happy with whatever we work on, and I think just because we've all like experienced a rare game I think throughout the, uh, for all our childhoods, mm. I think one of rare games or ultimate games has always been a part of your childhood, even if you didn't know Rare made it. And I feel like the whole time we've been working on it, everyone's just been super excited to bring them mm. together. The excuse to basically play all of these games again at work has just been phenomenal. Like, I, I really love Blast Core. It's one of my favorite yeah. games, too. And going back to play through them again and just how well they still uh, hold up to this day as well is great. And like I said, uh, everyone that's really lighting up mm. is so excited about specific games and having them all in there. Like, um, people coming up to the show floor and just being completely astounded at some of the games in the collection. It's just mm. been such a great reception. Yeah, well-designed games are, are timeless. That's uh, it. And another fun thing about them that I saw up there was uh, 10,000 gamer 10, points. 10,000 gamer score. Great. <laughs> great. Spread across 30 games. That's, is that, is my math work, is that yeah. 300 a piece? Is that uh, there's quite a bit in there. So you've got yeah. the, with the uh, back compact titles in it, they've got those achievements too. Um, we've also got the, with the, the main rare replay part, that's where the, the big new brunt of achievements mm. come from. So it's just, a, this really is something for everyone in the title. Smashing, so the, the rare, uh, rare is it just called rare collection? It's called rare replay. Rare yeah. replay, yeah. I had it down as on my sheet for like the past two weeks as unannounced Microsoft collection. <laughs> and I was like, Hmm, I wonder what that is. Oh, Actually, nice. yeah, before you go, how did you manage to get this out without it being leaked? <laughs> like, I know Kotaku had something yeah. at the end of last week. That was funny. It, um, you basically we, mostly got it out. We did yeah. so well, and it was funny. I think um, just before the night before the, the show, we stopped, We were just about to toast. We didn't leak, and um, yeah, <laughs> I think we must have put the mockers on ourselves. Yeah, it picked up yeah. on a, a GameStop or something. It just appeared. Yeah. And but the, the great thing was that although the collection got uh, announced, um, well, leaked rather, they, they didn't really know what the games were going to be in. Yes. And I did, I did go on to some forums to see, but the, everyone was just so happy, and I loved the speculation about what games were going to be mm. in the title. And of course, they didn't know what extra content was in the pack. Honestly, it's so worth checking out. The amount of work and effort that's gone into it. Everyone that's worked on the collection just loves Rare, loves the Rare games, and we really wanted this to be something mm. that celebrated the studio and also the fans. Awesome. Paul Collins, thank you so that's much great. for coming thank on. You uh, much. Best thank of luck for you, the team, uh, finishing it off, and we can't wait to dive into <laughs> As if there wasn't enough good games coming out in 2015, we got 30 more lumped in so thanks uh, Thank to everyone over in the uk uh thanks to you for watching on youtube on the uh, e3 hub on gamespot and of course on hitbox we'll be back in a second stay tuned on gamespot nope